Hello my friends! In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize screen recording along with audio on an iPhone. I'm also going to show you how to use the Voice Memo app. The Voice Memo app can be used to record things such as personal notes, classroom lectures, and even voiceovers for your future YouTube videos. Let's start with screen recording along with audio. Some of you may already be aware of this application, but for those of you who don't, this is a pretty neat feature that comes along with your iPhone. Just to let you know, screen recording functionality is available with iPhones with iOS 14 or later. I will be demonstrating with my iPhone 12. All you need to do is on the top right, you see where the battery of the 5G is on my phone. You're just going to slide down and this is the control center. You notice on the left hand side here, there's a big red dot. That is the record functionality. I'm actually recording on my phone right now. So how do you get there? All you need to do is go into your settings. If you don't have it already in your control uh, view, click on control center. And you notice right here, it says included controls. You should see I have the flashlight, the timer, camera, calculator, screen recording. Anything below that under more controls are the apps that's within the iPhone, but it is not in my control center. So let's say, let's, I'm gonna hit the minus here. I'm gonna remove the screen recording, remove. It goes down to the more controls. And let's say you wanna have the recording showing in your control, included controls. All you need to do is look for that down here, screen recording, hit the plus button. And let's say I also wanna add the voice memo. Hit the plus, the green plus button on the left of voice memos, and that's it. Now you see it under included controls. So let me X out of the uh, settings there, and I'll go to the top right again. I'll slide down, and you notice it's right there. On the left hand side, you see the recording button, and then to the right of it is actually the voice memo. All right. Now, everything that I'm doing here that you're seeing on the screen is based upon using the recording. Once you hit the record, you're able to share your screen. Now, the audio is not automatic. What I mean by that is most of the time it defaults to it's not on. So all you need to do to turn it on is where the record button is, the red dot, press on it, but keep your finger on it. You'll see this pop up. You notice that right here, microphone. It usually defaults to the off position. All you need to do to turn on your microphone is tap on it and it'll turn on to the on position. So when you record, it will share screen and also the microphone will be on and you're able to talk as you share your screen. All right. Now I'm gonna share with you how the voice memo works. All right. And what I'm gonna do now is I am going to press on this the voice memo you notice there, voice memos on the top, you see all recordings, recently deleted. You can also create folders for your recordings. As you see here, I have important voice recordings, YouTube recordings, and a YouTube new folder test. All right. So let's say you want to record something. All you need to do is click on all recordings, for example, and see that big red circle right there? All you need to do is press it one time. You press it one time and it'll show you right now. I'm at Crossroads Park in Gilbert, Arizona. And as you're recording, you notice here it says 10 seconds, 11 seconds, so on and so forth. It is recording as we speak. All right. So I'm going to test something here. So testing one, two, three. Welcome to Hot Pot Bob. So when I stop talking, you notice it's just pretty much flat lines. But when I as I speak, you see this go up and down. All right, so once I'm done recording, all I need to do is hit the stop. Once I hit the stop, you notice right there, Crossroads Park. I recorded for a total of 36 seconds. Now, on the left-hand side, you see the three lines, the horizontal lines with the with circles on them on the left? I'm going to tap on it. Now, there are some options here. On the top, you'll see there, skip silence. You have playback speed, you have enhanced recording. 
let's look at the playback speed. The playback speed, you can actually, like on the second line from the left, you see on the left, you see a turtle. Obviously, that is if you want to uh, play back your recording in a slower mode. And to the right, the further right you move it, the faster your audio goes. All right. You can uh, play around with that on your own. And if you want to speed up your voice recording, you can do so. Move it to the right. If you want to slow it down, move it to the left. The default is actually uh, the second line from the left there. That's defaulted right there. Now, skip silence. So if you notice earlier, I had a little bit of silence where it flat lines. You can actually tap on skip silence. And when you replay it, when there's a dead air on your recording, it will actually remove that. And therein lies what it means by skip silence. Enhanced recording, you can actually tap on this also. So when you play it back, if there's any background noise at all, it'll actually minimize the background noise with this functionality. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna X out of here. Now, to the right of it, you see this, uh, the three dots with the blue circle. I think it's called an ellipse, or ellipsis. You're gonna tap on that. And here's some more uh, functionalities there. You can actually copy your recording. You can share your recording. Hit the share button, and then you can actually send a text to whoever you want the recording to be sent to. Or you can share it and save it in a file. Totally up to you. You can also edit the recording. Hit the edit recording. Check this out. So this is the recording we did earlier. That was 36 seconds. I could actually take it at any point in time in this recording here. Hit replace and then replace that part of the recording. It's very, very simple to use. I'm not going to do it here, but hit done. Go back to the ellipsis. You can actually duplicate a recording. You can add it to your favorites with that right there. It says favorite and there's a heart on the right. You could actually create a folder also. All right. I click move to folder. On the bottom right there, you see that uh, folder with the plus sign, the blue plus sign. You can tap on it. You can actually create a new folder. Let's say I'm just going to put new folder test. Hit save. Boom. You can actually take your recording, save it to the new folder test. And you can actually remove the folder if you don't want it anymore. Like over here, I'm going to remove this one here and go back. The YouTube new folder test. Hit edit right here, and you can actually hit the, the red minus. So under YouTube new folder, I can hit the minus, and then hit the delete or the garbage, whatever that is, tap on it. It, will, it wants you to confirm, is that what you wanna do? Hit okay, and that's it, hit done. All right, very neat functionality now. Hopefully all of you know how to use the uh, screen recording and also how to use the voice memo. All right. I actually did my very first intro video with the voiceover using the voice memo. So if you want to start uh, recording some videos, posting it on YouTube, you do not need high end equipment, especially in the start. My recommendation is you're going to fail forward. Just go ahead the record button, start recording your videos, upload it. Uh, my goal here is that I am going to learn this process, how to record videos, how to uploading. I'm already learning a lot. This is my second upload. My goal is to have 25 to 30 uploads before I start upgrading to um, some higher end equipment. And also as I go along, I'm gonna share with you the things that I learned. Believe me, this is not going to be a high-end, high-level um, tutorial on how iPhones work. I'm not a techie person by any means, but I want to share with you the things that I learn, how to upload things on uh, YouTube videos on a budget, just using my iPhone, um, start videoing some places that I visit, some restaurants that I visit, uh, maybe some food hacks, some recipes that I've learned over the years. I um, appreciate all of you. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon. Thank you.